Ah, hoy ahoy, crew. Let's go over patch notes number 154, starting off with features as usual. They have retired the old deprecated 2018 client, so you will no longer be able to log in with it. The snowball event has been removed and will be making a return next Christmas. Updated weekly quests to include 17.2 maps and monsters. Instance completion will now include Water Garden Hard, Hidden Garden Hard, and Lost in Time. Monster subjugation will now include monsters from Power Plant 2 and both Tartarus storerooms. Treasure hunts will now include most maps pertaining to episode 17.2, which is basically anything that connects to the mansion. All monsters from the second power plant will now drop Varmil tickets at a 25% chance. The shop in Varmunt's mansion will now take illusion equipment with the lowest refine or least amount of end chance from your inventory when exchanging them for automatic equipment. This aims to reduce the number of issues where players were accidentally trading in gear they use when redeeming automatic equipment. Water Garden will no longer revive dead party members, Pouring Village can now be run with a party, added a filter for MVP cards on at no drop, you can manage your filters at the login settings NPC inside the main office. At Duel has been re-enabled, added the new fancy drop effects for rare monster drops. Note that garbage drops can still be technically low percent or rare kind of drops, so only the gold effects, I think, the one that I think mainly just goes for cards, is the one that you want to look out for. But this can be very useful when farming something like Endless Tower or Endless Cellar. Modified the search behavior of at who sell to give a higher priority to sellable items. Sarah Irene is now considered an MVP. Updated the fight against nameless swordsmen in Edda Biolabs to match KRO. This will make the fight harder. Basically, when the fire rings spawn and the monsters spawn inside of them, you need to kill those monsters. I believe everyone that is not killed when the effect ends drains 25% of your max HP. Removed the commands for at bang bang and at bing bing as they are no longer needed. The new client fixes the behavior of the old slash bing bing and slash bang bang so the band-aid fix can be removed. Fixed evil lands effect. I have no idea what that means. I think it's a monster skill, I guess. Doubled the HP amount for the dummy in the training chamber. Fixed an issue with Rodex carving rewards in monster hunting. Items. Guardian's Glory and Knight's Cloak can now be swapped between middle and lower costumes. Country Tales Wig Egg and Maiden Wig Egg have been added to the Nova shop for 3,500 Nova points. A quest for the cute pet armor, Afro, has been added to Umbala. Fixed Gertie's memory bonus. Fixed the effect of Angry Dracula card. Fixed the effect of Furious Moonlight card. Fixed the bonus of Sewage Venom card. Fixed Jewelry Ant card's proc rate. Fixed a bug where Hasty Shadow Set was incorrectly stacking with other movement bonuses. Fixed wedding rings from GM wedding events to correctly display player names. Skills. Fixed the visual on Soul Reaper's Souls. Create new poison now properly takes into account dex, luck, and job level when crafting poisons. Added a failure message to masquerade ignorance. Fixed mixed cooking to allow the creation of 10 to 12 items instead of just 10 to 11. Removed unusable warnings from skill auto spells. Heavenly Aegis's cooldown is now properly displayed by at rune cd. War of Imperium and Battleground changes. The following MVP cards were moved to tier 3. Sniper, High Priest, White Lady, Detartarus, 
Queen Scaraba, Gold Queen Scaraba, Kraken card, Infinite Osiris, Infinite Taugunka, Angry Dracula, Ancient Wooten Defender, Ancient Taugunka, and Vesper card. The following MVP cards were moved to Tier 1. Angry Catulinix card. That's all there is for the January 29th, 2021 patch notes. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel, share it with friends, and I'll see you in the next video.